Marshall is threatening here at the 38. Tatum has time and unable to connect with Tommy Schuler. That defense is not giving him the deep ball. And they're daring him to take the shot down. They're really trying to hone in on the short passes and put pressure on him. Boy, Marshall could really use something here. Yeah. You see the second quarter where yeah. they've been unable to get anything going. Remember, it was a punt return touchdown early that got them <laughs> on the board. The offense hasn't moved the ball until now. Here's Martinez, and he has a big game. John Martinez down to the 15-yard line. So just no. over a minute to go, and the thundering herd knocking on the door. Plenty of time. That was a nice run. Martinez added 15 pounds in the offseason. But all of those throws to the outside had the linebackers and safeties leaning to the outside and open up the run game inside. Trayvon Van trying to fight for extra yardage. Tackled by Casey Vance. So the 22-yard run by Martinez has set up Marshall here. And they're going to take a timeout. What a difference a year makes. A year ago, it was this Marshall squad who caught West Virginia sleeping a bit. They had a 15-point lead. They were down at home. They'd never yeah. beaten Big Brother in state West Virginia. Yeah. Everything was going their way. And then all of a sudden, Geno Smith awoke. Yeah. Drives over to 90 yards, sent it to overtime where they won it. Well, and it's been Geno Smith in this ballgame offensively, in a way, for West Virginia. I mean, he's just extended play after play, making things happen. The Marshall defense has done the right thing. But when Geno Smith gets out of the pocket and makes something else happen, he stays alive, it puts a lot more pressure on the defense. Let's go, Let's go. Mountain Air man looking Let's for a defensive deep. stop here. Second and eight. Tatum, quick pass. Dotson spins inside the 10 and the clock continues down to a half minute here in the first half. Third down play, hurry but don't rush. You've got time, you have another timeout. Run the play that your freshman quarterback is comfortable with. Here is Van, nowhere to go. Yeah, I don't think you got it. Nowhere at all to go. As that front four of West Virginia is stacked up. Running. You see Doc Holliday is going to use that last timeout. And he will send on his kicker. Try to cut this deficit to 10. Dana Holgerson's hair looks a little different as the pressure of the first half went on there. Doesn't Are you run. sure? I don't think it's a lot different than the way it started. He's got a good look going on there. Defense did hold. We were just talking about what happened a year ago. It was a thriller. Geno Smith had to make magic. 12 seconds remaining. Marshall was leading 21 to 13. Came all the way back. It was a 15 point deficit. This was a two point conversion to send it to overtime. Tyler Bittencourt hit a 20 yard field goal to go up 24 21. And then it was Marshall's opportunity to keep things alive. Tyler Warner's attempt. He thought it was good, it just strayed, and now here he is today from 25 to close out the first half. And they are able to get something out of it. It started well for Doc Holliday and company, then Geno Smith roared. 20 to 10 Mountaineers at the half. Now let's get to the studio and our Bud Light Halftime Report with Ryan Burr.